Hi everybody, this is Lizzie from My Ambitious Art. Thanks for joining me here today. Uh, my project this time is way out of my comfort zone. I've never tried this before and I've had a fascination with the process for a long time now. Um, given that I have this beautiful patch of woods and have had a few trees cut down, um, I'm taking the opportunity to use some of the stumps to do chainsaw carving. Now, I don't know how good I'm going to attempt to do this. Uh, it may be a success and it may be a complete blunder. Who knows? So I guess you'll just have to watch and see. So without further ado, I have um, hopefully everything I need right here. I have a chainsaw. I got a mini chainsaw, extra battery. I have some ear protection, some gloves, and I got my cool little uh, hydrating water bottle with my beautiful logo on it. Isn't that pretty? Um, this particular bottle has a built-in actually it comes off it screws right off on the bottom has a built-in Wi-Fi speaker so I can listen to tunes from my phone while I work and stay hydrated at the same time and um, I just think it's super cool and I want to thank my friend Samantha from FusionSip.com so let's get sawin So here's my big stump. It's about 18 inches wide at the very top, and it tapers up to about 22 to 24 inches, kind of in the midsection. And um, I'm going to make my little forest gnome, and he can watch over all this beautiful patch of wooded space that I am blessed to have. Okay, so let me show you my plan. This is my little drawing and he's a peace-loving little guy and I'll probably give him a name once I get him carved up and we'll see how close I can come to this drawing. take a lot of breaks because uh, this is kind of hard on my hands since I'm an old lady so you know steady as she goes right so it's really a rough cut right now very crude um, but I have this mini chainsaw 
and my arms are getting real tired so I'm going to try and use this for a little bit just kind of get into some of the folds of the hat and see if I can create a little more detail without getting really really tired so I'm going to use this for a little bit There's a better canvas, don't you think? just making my outlines of my shapes and goes all the way around obviously here and back so let's see how much detail I can get this is gonna be a definite challenge for me as I say, I am not an experienced carver, but it seems like a fun project. So at this point, going through all the details, making the curves, get some depth in there. Uh, it's going to take me a long time. I don't want to bore you with this, but um, I'm going to work on it for a little while. And then I'll get back uh, to a point where you can see a big difference and we'll keep filming. Saddest looking peace sign ever.
I think it's getting a little bit better. Um, little bit of progress. Good thing I'm a really patient person. I have a lot of material to take off down here and my little peace sign is pretty pathetic so far. <laughs> but uh, hopefully it'll get a little better when I take more um, wood off and get a lot deeper into those um, crevices and make it really stand out. This little guy, his name is Artemis because he's full of art. <laughs> Out some edges and see if I can get some nice definition here.
So what do you think? Does he look gnomely? I hope so. That was the whole purpose. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any more time to work on him on this trip. I will return in a couple months to give him some more detail and some tinting with color and some varnish and some, you know, staining here and there. And uh, that'll make him pop in this little forest of mine. Um, I hope that you enjoyed the process. I, I, you know, I can't claim to really know if I did it right or not, but uh, the goal was to try and that's all I can hope for. So um, that being said, um, thanks for joining me. I do appreciate all of your views and comments and do please leave comments because there's a lot to learn. Um, I can't learn without uh, experienced people helping me out and um, that's what it's all about. Uh, trying new things, having fun and enjoying life with beautiful nature. So thanks again and have a wonderful day and peace.